Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here, coming at you with another trail tip for you campers, backpackers, and hikers, especially those that like to go into the backcountry. Uh, if you're going to be doing that, there is no reason not to have a map and a compass, and hopefully you know how to use those. However, sometimes maps get a little bit bulky and heavy and inconvenient to carry and use, and sometimes you don't need this big of a map, you just need a small section of this map. Yeah, you could buy extra copies and cut them out, but I'm going to show you how to print and uh, make your own uh, printable copies directly from the United States Geological Survey. Uh, National Geographic has teamed up with them to create what they call quads, and these are five page uh, PDF files that you can download. Uh, you can do whatever you want with them, print them off, send them to your friends, uh, just use them for reference. Um, I'll put a link to the uh, website in the description of below, and you can go there and find whatever map that you want. When you go to the website, this is the screen you will see. You can scroll up and down, and it has a little bit of information here at the top. And here's the five pages, similar to what I just showed you. And it starts out in the United States. Now, unfortunately, this only applies to the 48 lower states, or continuous, or continental United States. Alaska and Hawaii, unfortunately, are not included, nor any other country. It's just the continental United States. Now, there's three ways you can navigate around this map. One is you simply click and hold, and you can drag it around. And let's say we're going to look for the Grand Tetons. Well, we can move around, zoom in, and, of course, you can see that it... Uh, needs to be centered in order to do that. Uh, another way you could uh, zoom in a little bit quicker is to simply double click on the area that you want to uh, move into and you can eventually find your way to that. Another way is simply type in a name. Now when you type in a name you have to look for the actual quad name. You can't type in just a generic uh, city or something like that, or a river or something like that. For instance, Yellowstone. Let's try Yellowstone. Let's say I'm looking for the Yellowstone River. Well, of course, it won't give me anything Yellowstone River. These five, Yellowstone Lake, Yellowstone Ranch, Point, West Yellowstone, and Yellowstone Mountain, are the actual name of the uh, a map. You can't just look for Yellowstone River. So, let's say we're looking for the Grand Teton. And there's Grand Teton, and it will take me right to it. That's another way that you can do that. However, if you wanted to, you can zoom in and out and look for a specific spot. And again, we'll, we're going to go to the Grand Teton here. Once you zoom in to a certain level, you'll see two things show up. One is these kind of yellowish green or yellowish uh, squares and polygons. Those are actual National Geographic maps. And uh, if you click on one of those, like 304, it will take you to that, and you can buy the map. And I'll get to that a little bit here soon. Uh, but let's go to the Grand Teton, which we know, which I know is, is this map right here. I click on this little red icon. Each one of these is a quad map, and it is centered on the area that it will show. So that big red rectangle would be, uh, this would be centered within that red, red rectangle red rectangle. But there's our Grand Teton uh, maps. We simply click on that and it actually opens it up. And here is our, should be a five page, and there it is, page one through five. These are the same five maps that I showed you earlier that were are printed out. And here's all the information. You can save this, you can print it, um, however you want to do that. Let's go back to the map here. Um, again, let's say that you want to look, this is not where you want to be. You want to be up here. All you need to do is look at this map down here, this little uh, tic-tac-toe board. Northeast is Jenny Lake, Wyoming. So we will go back to here and search for Jenny Lake. And there is Jenny Lake. It takes us to it. We can open that up. And there is Jenny Lake. The one we were at right down here, southwest, should be um, Grand Teton, which it shows right there, Grand Teton to the southwest. So it's, it's a very nice uh, way to work uh, these maps. 
again, I'm going to go back here to this and back out a little bit to show you these um, yellow area, these yellow highlighted areas. These polygons, they are a National Geographic map. Of course, they're monetizing this to sell this, like number 202. I click on that and click on this, and it takes me to the National Geographic website for that map. And I could uh, purchase it directly from the National Geographic and if, they, if you want to do that. But that's how they're making their money off of doing this, is selling these actual printed maps that they have available. And so anyway, that's how you can navigate around. Again, this is only for the uh, continental United States. If you, if you zoom into the border, let's say between Canada and the United States, you will see that they stop right here at the border. There's nothing here uh, in Canada. There's nothing in uh, Mexico or any other country. And unfortunately, it does not apply to Alaska or Hawaii. No matter how much you zoom in, these quads are not available for Alaska or Hawaii. Uh, these are the same GPS or the same USGS maps that you can buy from, from them. 7.5 minute degree or 7.5 minute maps. I have a hard time saying that. That you get from the USGS. And when you download them off this website, there will be five pages. Uh, get this out of the way and we'll go to the overhead camera and I'll show you what you're gonna get here. The first page is an index page and it has things like your declination. And the nice thing is, is this is 2010. Uh, it's not some real old declination marking like 1947 or 1952. It will have the state that it is in. And unfortunately, only the lower 48 states are included in this program. Alaska and Hawaii and other countries right now are not included, but it has the state shown in an outline and a, a red square or rectangle within that state of where this map is located. It has the name of the map. This is the same map, that the US, same name that the USGS uh, uses. It's also shown in a tic-tac-toe board down here as this is the Grand Teton, Wyoming map. Uh, it's shown in the center. And then the eight adjacent maps are listed here. So the, you know these eight adjacent maps would be listed here to show you this is precisely where it is. So if you wanted uh, to the northeast, you would go up to northeast, look here, that's Jenny Lake, and you'd want to print out the Jenny Lake map. But this is basically an index page, and each one of these uh, window panes, these four window panes, they're labeled 2, 3, 4, and 5. They correspond with pages 2, 3, 4, and 5 in the top right of the other four pages. So basically, you could lay these out, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and that's how they lay out. Page 2, page 3, page 4, and page 5. And each one of these pages has a scale in meters, kilometers, feet, and miles. It has around the border, uh, it has the uh, latitude and longitude. And again, it will tell you here, uh, like here's Moose, Wyoming, which would be uh, this map right here. And again, east, it says Moose, so that's duplicated here. Uh, same thing at the top and the bottom. This says Teton Village. Uh, this one says Mount Mount Bannon, and this will say Mount Morin. Um, there is a, a, quite a bit of overlap from this map to this map horizontally. This direction, because you can see right here, uh, here's the word south. You can see the SO on this map, so there's quite a bit of overlap here. There isn't quite that much going vertically. You can see like this, uh, this creek right here splits a little bit. There is the same split shown here, but there isn't that big of an overlap here. But these are a great reference that you can use. And of course, being PDF, PD standing for uh, portable, you can put them on your smartphone, you can put them on your tablet, you can put them on your laptop, your desktop, you can email them, uh, save them wherever you want for printout. Now, the only bad thing I found is the scale down here is not really to scale the same as, as the actual maps. Uh, I have found that these do not line up. Um, one kilometer uh, ends up being clear over into here. So uh, it's not exactly to scale. And if I tried to print it out and I could get it to scale, but then the scale doesn't show up and you actually start cropping off part of these uh, pages if you enlarge them enough to actually get them to scale. 
So if you want to actually get these to scale, you might have to take them to some place like uh, uh, Office Max, Office Depot, FedEx Office, and have a full-size piece printed out, which you could probably do, and get it to actual scale. But for reference point, for planning purposes, for um, you know, just just to sit there and wonder and then look, you know, look at a trail and say, well, I wonder what that well, that looks going to be a real steep trail or that looks like an easy trail. These are a great, uh, re great, great resource. And like I say, I'll put a link to the uh, website down below and uh, take a check it out. And maybe you can find some PDF files that you can download and print. So this is Backpack Hack. Be safe out there and I'll see you out on the trail.